What's up guys, TV All Day here and welcome back to another episode of my underrated career mode gems that you're going to be seeing throughout FIFA 15. This is episode number 4 of this, if you missed any previous episodes, they are in my recent videos because this is the only thing I posted as of late. I am just doing this in build up to FIFA 15, of course you're seeing a lot of EA access, early access, web app type things, but I don't get my game until the 23rd, so you're not going to be seeing any career mode content like actual career mode content until the 23rd from myself but um if you missed it i will most likely be doing fulham but that's just um based on the vote right now there's of course two more like two more yeah two more days to vote for it but um it's very unlikely that it's gonna be any other team than fulham so i'm already prepared to do a fulham career mode but without further ado let's go on get started with number one of our five players from this episode it is Dwayne holmes he plays for huddersfield but is on loan at bury and of course i couldn't just go another episode without an american player so i had to chuck him in there five foot six 20 years of age high medium work rates three star skill moves and a potential of 78 i do actually have all the FIFA 15 potentials now so that is his FIFA 15 potential um, if you missed it go to foothead.com and they have all the career mode database in there now so you can see every single player's potential if you wish but either way he doesn't look that great if you ask me 74 pace 68 dribbling is basically all he has so if you're looking if you're gonna abuse this year's dribbling because dribbling is very very good this year um, then I'd sign him, but he's not that great. Five foot six is a Valbuena-esque player, so not ideal. But anyway, let's move on to player number two. And of course, I couldn't go another episode without a Leon player. Go a full episode without a Leon player. We got Ferris Baluli, 19 years of age, five foot eleven, high medium work rates, four star skill moves, and a potential of 84. That is a 19 plus growth. And like I said about Dwayne Holmes, if you're looking to abuse the dribbling this year, definitely use Baluli. And he also has physical to go with it. 62 is very very nice but if he improves to 84 his shooting and passing will most likely be improved which if you ask me for a cam that definitely needs to be higher um, but he looks very nice for a smaller league team either way let's move on to player number three a player that probably won't be underrated for too long is Bilal Aoud Cheek I seriously hope that's how you say his name because I certainly hope it's not old chick but either way, he's 5'5", five five, medium, medium work rates, 4-star skill moves, and a potential of 84. Everyone kind of seems to start, kind of seems to be starting jumping on this guy's hype train right now. So he might not be underrated for too long. You might see him in a few career modes. He might end up being the new Bacali, but um, he looks very decent. Uh, like I said with the previous two, if you like pace and dribbling, definitely use this guy. But he is pretty small for li my liking. But let's move on to player number four. And uh, same thing as this guy. He might not be underrated for too long. And uh, it is Julian Brandt. A potential of 80, 86, which is why he won't be underrated for too long. I don't think a lot of play people have heard of this guy. And based on his potential, a lot of people are going to be hearing about him. So he won't be underrated for too long. But either way, he looks very much more suited to be a cam than a left wing based on the fact that he's six foot tall, has only 79 pace, but also has some very nice physical attributes, shooting, passing, and dribbling, which is more suited to a cam than a left, wid left wing. I mixed the words wing and mid there. That was freaking weird. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, he's more suited to that position. Four-star skill moves as well. Can't really go wrong with this guy. Let's move on to the last player of this episode. It is going to be one of my favorite players in real life, one of my favorite French players, one of my favorite players from the League One. It is... Paul George and Tep. No, not the basketball player. Paul George and Tep, the left wing from Stade Rene, played for Auxerre last year up until January in League Two. But he looks very, very good. 5'10, 22 years of age, medium, medium work rates. The only thing that lets him down is his three star skill moves. He is so well rounded, it is ridiculous. He's seriously one of my favorite players to use in FIFA and to watch in real life. Like, I seriously think um, he's just extremely underrated and should be on a lot of people's career mode watch list. I think he scored a goal the other day against PSG, if I'm not mistaken, came off the bench and scored and tied the game for them, and it ended up as a draw, which is very, very nice for Rene. But either way, 88 pace, 78 dribbling, 62 shooting, 61 passing, and 63 physical is so well-rounded, it is not even funny. If he goes up to his potential of 80 as well, which is a minimum, of course, he will be very, very good. So, I honestly, uh, uh, this guy's just amazing. He also scored one of my favorite goals I think I've ever seen 
I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go see it, but I'll explain it if you don't want to go see it. Basically, he was one-on-one -on -one with the goal, no goalkeeper, it was just him and the goal, and he ran up right before it went into the back of the net, got on his hands and knees, and headed it into the back of the net, and it, he said apparently it was his boyhood dream to do that in a game, and it was freaking fantastic. But either way, this will be the end of the episode, so if you want to, leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, there will be another episode of this out tomorrow, actually not too sure about that, there might be a transfer target video, I'm not too sure, there also might be, I, I don't know, I'm not too sure yet, I'm probably going to do another one of this, but either way, this will be the end of the episode, like I said, have a nice rest of your day, I'm T-Roll Day, and I'm out.